this past fall, we worked with the administration in regards to crunching numbers. Uh, as certainly your committee knows, uh, these are very uh, difficult times. Um, we suggested uh, to the administration some, some areas uh, in regards to, to uh, where we listed up what we had as priorities. And um, as you're aware, during uh, the rescission last year, the municipal planning grant uh, was cut in half down to uh, about $400,000. And uh, that was also the amount appropriate for the upcoming uh, budget. We decided uh, in August, which is typically when we send out requests to municipalities, to uh, put that on hold due to um, ever-changing uh, uh, numbers as to what we'd be looking at as far as you know, revenue coming into the state. Uh, didn't know what would be coming up as far as future rescissions. Um, so we sent out a memo in mid-August indicating that we would put off um, issuing those grants uh, until later in the spring. And uh, we didn't get much of a reaction, quite frankly. Uh, we sat down uh, also in the fall time with the executive board for the regional planning commissions. Uh, they indicated they understood um, the predicament that the state was in, and uh, they understood that there were going to have to be uh, tough choices that had to be made. Um, in fact, I received an email from one of the regional, uh, one of the executive directors from the Planning Commission, indicating that if he was in the state's uh, in the state's role, that he probably would have made a similar decision. Um, we did not, uh, that I'm aware of, receive any. Uh, additional feedback from municipalities specifically. Um, <clears throat> so that leads us uh, to today's uh, budget adjustment as far as uh, zeroing that out. Well, I, I, I would not say, um, again, it boils down to uh, rankings and priorities um, within the department. And when we were looking at, uh, at staff, uh, as possible staff reductions and other program reductions, um, we thought uh, that the municipal planning grant program, uh, when looking at the dollars, seeing that the program was already cut in half, and we made an assessment of you know, how well does a program work at half the capacity um, if that is something worth continuing. Do towns have some town planning obligations that have to be finished by the end of FY11 or 2011? Municipalities will go through a uh, five-year process of updating their, uh, their town bylaws, their town plans, and we have seen throughout the years of the program, uh, municipalities apply um, for uh, for a grant. Typically, it's an amount not to exceed fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Typically, in years past, when our appropriation for the municipal planning grant was around eight hundred thousand dollars, we typically you know, awarded between sixty to seventy. Grants. Uh, this last year, we uh, we awarded uh, you know, about half that, about 31. Um, again, obviously due to that program being uh, cut in half. Out of how many? Um, I believe it was about it was about 90. But again, we had to make a determination when you start making cuts. At, to what point in time do you get to a point um, that you have to you know relook at the program? Uh, and again, that, that program has suffered, uh, unfortunately, a 50% you know, reduction. So, how much is he asking? How much are you asking? He's asking for the, the program to be zeroed out. To be zeroed out. Yeah. I had down the question revenues. So what are our property tax revenues? And 
where are they going even if it's only 200,000 or 100,000? Well, that's probably a good question for the tax department. But, I mean, it's my understanding that uh, the property transfer tax, which is where uh, this money comes from as far right. as the fund, uh, fund this you know, special fund money, has been, has been on a downward trend. I, I'm aware of that, but I'm just wondering since well, you're zero. we've been taking it all for the general fund, so we flatlined this appropriation for the part of that. Again, a lot of it goes to municipalities who are looking to, uh, to update their plans. Typically, um, you know, the $15,000, $10,000 that they're awarded um, isn't going to pay for the entire update. It's usually a, a portion of that. Um, Big Health doesn't get paid for by the property tax. Well, you must be doing a lot more than that. You know, it has been $800,000. Sure. Ty typically, when we received, um, um, again, we usually receive around 90 uh, applications. Um, they have almost all of them been funded. That didn't happen during this last go-around, again, with the reduction to about uh, $400,000. Uh, that number was 